Yo, what is happening, everybody? And thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, actually. If this is your first time visiting the Keenan Jerome Floyd Network, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be re reviewing Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It's a new film that actually premiered on Friday on Disney+. Plus. This is going to be a spoiler-filled review. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, make sure you go check it out. It's fantastic, which in itself is actually a spoiler of my review. So, But make sure you go check out the movie, come back to this video, and I would love to hear your thoughts. So make sure you comment below uh, what you thought about the film. So Chippendale Rescue Rangers uh, stars John Mulaney as Chip, Adam Sandberg as Dale, in this kind of hodgepodge of... Uh, uh, you know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, uh, Disney Afternoon, Nostalgia, and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It it takes place in a 2022 modern day Los Angeles where cartoon characters and humans coexist. Um, all the cartoon characters are of different styles. Uh, like you have traditionally rendered 2D characters. You have older CGI characters, maybe in the early 2000s, 2010s that exist in this world. And you also have the modern, more sophisticated, more advanced CG characters that exist um, now in movies that exist in this world as well. And to be honest with you, I thought this movie was great. This movie was hilarious. I love the jokes. I, myself, am a Disney afternoon kid. I used to watch Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, Goof Troop, Gummy Bears, Bonkers, except ducktails etc etc so it was great watching the film for the first time but i do think i need to go back to slow the movie down so i can check out some easter eggs that i missed but as the movie opens we see chip and dale uh they met in middle school the only two chipmunks at their school apparently uh and dale this is his first day at school he feels a little weird he feels like people might not like him, so he opens with the joke that ends up freaking out half the class. But Chip appreciates his joke, and they sit together at lunch, and they become friends for life, right? Then they go to Los Angeles. They're involved in different commercials, TV shows. They appear on an episode of Full House together, and then they get that call to do their own show called Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And eventually what happens is they do the show for long enough that – Dale starts feeling like the second fiddle to the duo, right? So he goes off to do his own show called Double O Dale. And, you know, Chip feels a certain type of way about it. But, you know, Dale takes the deal anyway. They end up splitting ways. Rescue Rangers gets canceled. You know, uh, Chip and uh, Double O Dale ends up getting canceled. And soon their friendship gets canceled. So now we go 30 years forward to 2022, the present day, Chip is selling insurance, and Dale is making appearances at Comic-Cons. And Dale looks a little different than he did uh, back in the 80s because he got what's called CGI rejuvenation surgery, where now he's being transformed, or he's been transformed, rather, into a modern-day rendering of old cartoon characters, which, when I saw the preview, I wasn't sure how the joke was going to play out, but what they did do, they brought in Baloo from the 2016 John Favreau uh, film, The Jungle Book. And they explained in the movie that Baloo from the 1967 Jungle Book got rebooted. So he got, he basically, it's something that like cartoons do to kind of rejuvenate their career, to get the surgery, to make themselves look more modern. And then they can do these new reboots of their films and stuff like that. So when they explained that, it started making sense. I said, oh, shit, that's a funny joke, right? Uh, just a couple of the jokes that I really liked. Uh, at the Comic-Con, we have a character that ends up getting redeemed. They call him Ugly Sonic. Now, for those of you that might not know the context of Ugly Sonic, he was the original version of Sonic the Hedgehog when the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie was announced. And everybody was like, this dude is ugly as fuck. We want him replaced. So they had, so they ended up delaying the movie so they could redo Sonic the Hedgehog into this version, which appears in the final film. Well, guess what? The ugly version, he appears in Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and he's redeemed. 
He's redeemed in the sense that he gets his own personality. He gets his own arc. He it, is an actor. He ends up on the FBI show, and he ends up helping our heroes um, accomplish their goal in the film. I think it was it was very well done. It was it was heartwarming to see that everybody uh, had the chance to be redeemed. And I just think it was a smart joke to, to just put in. Um, some reason, Zipper and Gadget from Rescue Rangers get married and end up having mice fly children, which sounds weird, but it's not. It works out. Uh, Zipper's real voice is that of the Allstate dude, you know, the guy with the very deep voice, you know, Allstate. Uh, we're your friends or whatever their logo is. Um, so that was a funny joke. Uh, it turns out that Monterey Jack, his addiction to cheese is so has gotten so bad that he has now fallen into debt to a fat Peter Pan. Now, this is the same Peter Pan that appeared in the Disney cartoon Peter Pan, but he ended up getting older, so he couldn't get work. He ended up getting fat. Uh, pandemic weight, I guess you could call it. And the fact that he was basically blacklisted by Hollywood because he was a grown kid and couldn't get any more work, he opens his own bootleg studio where they make bootleg versions of Disney cartoons, but they end up kidnapping real Disney characters and they end up like, you know, giving them surgery to make their eyes come apart a little further, making their nose too big so they don't actually look like the actual character so they could get away with making uh, bootleg versions of movies like The Little Mermaid, which is called, like, The Sea Bitch or, like, something like that. That's not what they call it in the movie because this is still a family movie, but, you know, shit like that. And his henchman is actually a giant uh, polar bear, rather, and um, a Viking, CGI Viking, played by Seth Rogen, who has Polar Express eyes, which is hilarious because those are like the dead eyes that came out like in the early 2010s when they were first doing like motion capture and CGI characters and the eyes just didn't look natural because they never actually looked at each other. They were always like looking in other places except at the characters that they were talking to. And one of my favorite jokes is in the finale when they end up going back to Comic-Con, they have this chase and the Viking Seth Rogen runs into three other characters that are voiced by Seth Rogen. Pumbaa, from the 2019 Lion King, uh, the Blob uh, from Monster DreamWorks Monsters vs. Aliens, and the Praying Mantis from Kung Fu Panda, which I think is hilarious. Other characters in the movie um, is uh, Kiki Lane. She plays a detective, a part of the, uh, LAPD. Her boss is Detective Putty, which I call Detective Gumby. Uh, when we first meet them, he kind of gives her a hard time. He doesn't really respect her. And the first thing I thought is, but Detective Gumby racist? I don't know what's going on with this dude. But he's voiced by J.K. Simmons, and we find out that he's actually working with Fat Peter Pan. And he's basically helping him, like, kidnap all of these cartoons and stuff, right? So Detective Gumby is actually uh, – uh, he's actually rendered through stop motion. And they integrate into the live action, and there's a fight between him and Kiki Lane at the end of the movie. It's amazing. It's great. It's hilarious. It's funny. Um, and at the end of the fight, they make a reference – to Terminator 2, Judgment Day. She ends up freezing him, like what happened to the T-1000 in Terminator 2. So I thought that was a really good touch. Um, throughout the movie, we know that Kiki Lane is a huge uh, fan of uh, the Rescue Rangers. So what she does is to help them uh, find clues to find Monty, she actually gives Dale references from different episodes of uh, Re Rescue Rangers, which she puts together, and they end up saving the day at the end. So, um, what can I say? This movie's funny. This movie's hilarious. It's smartly written. The voice actors are amazing. Uh, the Easter eggs are amazing. Uh, the script, human actors, everything about this movie is amazing. So, if you guys haven't uh, checked the movie out yet, I'm sorry for spoiling it for you, but you definitely need to go check it out. I would love to know what you think of this film, if you've seen it comment below let me know what you think let me know uh, what your favorite parts of the movie is if you guys want a reboot of the show 
I want to know if you guys want to reboot the show. And if you do, do you want it to be done like they did it back in the day, the Disney Afternoon version, the 2D version? Or do you want to follow the John Mulaney, Andy Sandberg versions of the characters in a new series? That would be interesting to see. It'd probably also be really expensive. But that would be interesting to see. So please, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let's get this conversation going. Again, if this is your first time following the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit that uh, bell so that you know when there's a new video. So thank you so much for joining me, and you guys have a good afternoon.